What's up, HamPow fans? In this vlog, we'll be talking about the classic iPod lineup. So, this is how I'm gonna get started. Back in the day, when iPods was first released, I would be getting them. But at first, it was actually my sisters would be getting the iPods. And I will be too small for one. So, I mean, I love iPods. I sleep with two iPod touches because I have my music on and I like to listen to music and I like watching videos and go on the internet. So it broke my heart that the iPod lineup died. So in this blog, I'm hoping that Apple will be able to watch this and reconsider welcoming home or welcoming back iPod because we all grew up in in my generation we all grew up with iPods like when we like to run basically we iPod everything now this generation we phone it but let me bring you some disadvantages with everybody having iPhones you know these kids we like like 12 8 they're beginning to have iPhones well in my generation, my parents would buy me an iPod. An iPod Touch, it's just like your iPhone. My parents had the iPhone 3GS back in the day, and I would have an iPod Touch, and I would always call that my kid's iPhone. So, back in the day, I would be like, Mom, I got a phone call, it was something, just something cool, when I was a kid. So, in this message, I would like Tim Cook to hear me out in this one. I mean, the whole Apple squad to hear me out this. Please bring the iPod line back up. Because Steve Jobs would have kept it that way. Because I know Steve Jobs had big plans with the Apple Watch and everything. I mean, I would watch all the keynotes when I was little and from this day on. When I would be like staying up and getting ready for it. It's like a big football game. Like boxing. For example, one of my friend's co-workers from work... He stays up late to watch boxing. This is, it's like boxing to me. Let me get started with advantages. If, for example, I mean, my dream is for me to welcome back the iPod. You know, I mean, I know that this may not happen and stuff, but it's worth it. I need to get my stuff out. And um, the reason that some of us would like the iPod lineup back is because, for example, the iPod Classic. I mean, that is a classic now. So, you have load tons of music and videos. I mean, the last generation iPod Classic was like 170 or 160 gigabyte. I had one. My iPod broke. So, I try to get it repaired. They don't, they discontinued it. So, it's just a broken, busted up iPod. So, if I was Apple, I'd still sell the iPod generation and keep updating it like the iPhone because look at this generation if you were a parent would you trust your kid with an iPhone look how many crooks look how many criminals are out there just waiting to get your child's phone number start doing inappropriate things then we got child molestation case on our hands but if we give the kids like an iPod they can pretend that it's a phone. It looks like a phone. And it's like, I mean, when I was a kid, I wasn't even, I had my first cell phone when I was like 16. Because my parents raised me right. So, I would, I've, been, I've been carrying an iPod Touch around. And the iPod Nano is perfect for exercising. You know, I used to exercise, I used to bike with an iPod. I used to skateboard with an iPod. I mean, iPod changed the MP3 industry back in the day. So, I mean, it disappointed a lot of people that the iPods were discontinued. But I, I get it. The phone, iPhone could do it. An iPad could do it. Yes, I get it. But it's too risky for my child. If I had a child, it would be too risky for to hand my child an iPhone because look what kind of mess that that could cause so the, I mean iPod will be perfect for these kids in this generation they, you could limit them on the internet usage you could don't have to worry about somebody trying to call them or sex them or anything and I mean 
with the iPod Classic, I mean, that's a classic from I Apple, you know? So I'll be like jamming with my music, and it, like a lot of people don't like the new touch interface with the music videos, and some people, a lot of people like that, and some people don't. They like the old classic click wheel that, like, for example, you turn on your classic and you like, you have I mean, it's, it's a classic, you know? Brings back in the memory. So, with the iPod Nano, there could be a lot of improvements with the iPod. I mean, unfortunately, Apple says or claims they don't make the parts for the iPod, but they could always redesign the iPod Classic, iPod Nano, iPod Shuffle, whatever. Apple, Apple's a big company now. I mean, I'm made from Apple. I mean, I'm an Apple Ham Pound 93, you know? But, I mean, I love Apple. I mean, I'm one of their fans. I, I have an iMac, three broken MacBook Pros from Apple because I use the guts out of them and they last. And I have an iMac and it's fantastic. And I'm just hoping that Apple would reconsider generating the iPod because a lot of kids should be able to do things what they want without getting themselves in a mess. You know, because I would not want my kids to be with a phone that they could cause harm to themselves, you know? So, iPod will be perfect for the kids. Especially the iPod Touch and the iPod Classic is where you just want to exercise. I mean, with the new, you guys, Apple could create a new interface for the iPod Classic and could make it a one terabyte hard drive. That would be so sick but um, I doubt it if Apple's gonna watch this but I'm giving it a shot you know so we could all spread the iPod love because an app I think in Apple they should not discontinue a device because I mean you have the iPad iPod iPhones I mean Apple could make cars if they set their minds to it you know so an Apple TV it's like not like a little brick, an actual TV itself. That would be so dope. Uh, like an Apple Smart TV. <sighs> Call it the iSmart or something like that. But this was just a quick blog about iPods and how I loved iPods. Because I had for my first iPod was a green iPod Nano. Second generation or third generation? And it was pretty basic. But I'll still have that iPod from this day on. It's in my it's in my bedroom somewhere. And it would be so cool if Apple was able to bring back the iPod because it would benefit the company really well of providing safe and children friendly devices, you know, so and also as adults, we love the iPod Classic. We love going back in into heritage. Like the iPod is so ancient and bring make it even better. It'd be so cool. I mean, my coworkers always told me never give up on a dream. So my dream is to be able to release or maybe go to an event, an Apple event, a keynote, and so, and call it Welcome Home. It'll just like be in bold letters, Welcome Home iPod, Welcome Back, something like that nature, something fantastic. Because I. I love Apple to the bottom of my heart. I mean, I'm I have like a eye processor system. I mean, I'm just being stupid right now, but I'm made from Apple. So, spread this word so we could have the iPod lineup come back and we are able to have fun, be safe, and be a wonderful community. So, spread hand pal love. And before I go, here's some advice to my fans and from my people. If you have a dream and you talk about having a dream, just don't just sit there, do something about it. So, for me, I have a dream of trying to bring the iPod lineup back up. For me, not just to sit there and just be thinking about wishing that, you gotta go up and do something about it. So, I'm 
making a blog about this and hopefully Tim Cook or Apple would see this and reconsider it. So if you have a dream, don't just sit there, do something about it and be yourself and don't give up on your dreams. So with the, every year when the new iPhone comes out, I have to get it because you know I love Apple and I like to get the newest product. But I had to wait this time because I had last year I got the 7 Plus and I begged and I had to have it. So the a new iPhone X, iPhone 10 came out. I was like, damn, I wish I had it. But I got a two year contract and it's aggravating when everybody's getting the new phone. I'd be like, ugh. You know, so be yourself and don't give up on your dreams. Love you, love y'all fans, and love the community. Peace.